Hey brothers, are you still struggling to find out how to prevent those relapses? It is a very common question that's asked. You, you think that you're making progress. You feel good. And then you relapse. And you, and you question yourself. You become more maybe even depressed. You begin to lose the, the, the confidence, the motivation. But with everyone that I've spoken with, the, the men that I've helped, there is a there's a pattern. That's why the journaling, and I always say this, uh, journaling, follow the pattern, figure out what it is. Right? Some of it can be based upon the number of days. Uh, if you are you know tracking it. But a lot of this really comes down to just uh, four four things I think you can implement today. Four things you can implement today that will help you prevent future relapses. So here they are, okay? Write these down. Please, grab, grab a piece of paper uh, or hey, take, your, take your phone out and write these down. The very first one is understand how much control you really have. Now, with the right training, you have control. Without training, you don't have any, okay? Um, you, you lose control over your thoughts, your emotions, your judgment, if you're going to relapse, all right? Um, the good news about that, though, is that you, you can actually prevent, you can prevent the relapse actually while it's happening. Two, you have to work with your brain, not against it, right? The warning signs, some of them are rather obvious. A lot of other of those signs, though, are, are unconscious, okay? That's one reason why it's hard. Your brain has been prioritized, even conditioned, for porn, sex, and orgasm. So... That involves power, right? Power to, to control. It does go away, but only if you, again, begin to work with your brain and not against it. Work with it. A simple way to do this is to fill out a checklist. If you're already journaling, if you're already tracking, fill out this checklist. Do it once a week, okay? Once a week. Checklist. Once a week. List the behavior which has led to the relapses in the past. It could be being tired, angry, lonely. And then, once you focus on that, that common cause, all right, uh, then you can put together a, a, a strategy. And that's one of the things that, that the, you know, one of the things we do, the men that are working with me and, and Newman Rising, it's creating strategies. So that's the second thing, okay? Work with your brain, not against it. The third is that the relapse, it is your creation. It's not something that, that just happened, all right? It's a result. You have your values. You have attitudes. You have your behavioral responses to what is happening in your environment around you. You're going to have to change, perhaps, your values, your attitude, and for sure you're going to have to change your behavior. Rewiring the brain. That's why past the reboot, past those, you know, everybody talks about reboot of being 30 days, but there's so much more as part of that. And, and, and the rewiring, which can take... Yes, it can take up to a year, can take even beyond a year, is so important. All right. Think of it in a different way. Um, it's a complex situation. But you would rather kind of prevent a war from happening, right, than actually having the war happen and fight it. So figuring out 
what your behavior is, what's the behaviors or one behavior which is causing that relapse, working with it, coming up with a strategy to prevent it from future happening is going to be beneficial for you. You're going to feel more confident and more motivated as your rewiring process continues uh, and, and your recovery progresses. Here's the fourth prevention tip, if you wish, okay? Don't lose hope. Look, I, I it, it took me a while, but I've been sober now for several years, and so have so many other men. Don't lose hope in your ability to control your relapse. You can still change. You can still actually even interrupt that relapse at any point. It doesn't have to be out of control. It can be interrupted. All right? If this is interesting to you, or if you want to know more, God, I really hope that you do. If you have more questions, leave some comments. DM me directly. Let's talk. I want to make you feel that you are making progress. I want to help you be successful in your recovery. I know that you can be, and I look forward to working with you. Remember, your tomorrow begins today. Blessings.